We're right on top of them now. See them? Blowing up right here. There's a bunch of mullet here. Something hitting them, right? Gotcha. I knew something was hitting these mullet over here. Is this a rat red or a big speck? Nice. Look at the size of that speck. Nice. That is a keeper. Yes, sir. All right. Oh, got him in the boat. Yes. Oh, that is a huge trout. Whoa. That is a massive trout. I, I'm proud of myself. I'm, I'm feeling good right now. Yes, sir. Oh, yes. There you go. 18 and a half inch monster trout. I've caught actually bigger trout before, but this is pretty pretty good size. I forgot something. What did I forget? Welcome back to M Hood Fishing everybody. I haven't actually done one of these in quite some time where this is a catch and cook from a video I put out yesterday. So this is actually the next morning. It's mid morning right now. Yesterday I realized that I wasn't going to be able to really do that video as a catch and cook because I was really out of it by the time we got back to the launch. So here we are next day. I was even too out of it to cut this fish. So we're cutting it now and we're going to cook it. It's one of my favorite things. A big trout. Yeah, you're right. This fillet is going to be massive. One fillet might be enough to fill me up. I have another trout too. I'm actually going to cut that one up and give it to my cat. Maybe not all of it at once because it's a, I think a 15 to 16 inch trout. Wow. Gotta love a big trout. It's, <laughs> it'll fill you up. It's a meal in itself. Maybe even just half of it is a meal. There we go. That is a nice looking filet. When I got back to the launch yesterday, Ray measured this fish for me and he told me it was 19, but on my tape, it is 18 and a half. Sometimes measurements can be different from one tape to another, but a half inch, that's a big difference. I have seen some tapes that had big differences between other tapes. Here we go, looking good, nice and washed off. I'm just gonna cut this into small pieces. Not very small, but about an inch to two inch square. Basically that. Kinda hungry, so I'm gonna cook both fillets. Hopefully I can eat it all, probably. Lay it out in this plate. I'm gonna cook something just very basic, very simple. Here we got some shrimp magic I want to dust each side good coating of this actually now I'm going to stick this in the fridge while I cut the other fish that needs a little bit of time for everything to soak into the fish a little bit here we go I have this torty female cat that lives on my porch 
what is this this is 14 I'm not actually going to give the whole fish to her not at once anyway about a year ago I had a little cat you might remember fixed that was an outdoor cat that just showed up he's still around but she actually decided that she lives here outside she won't come inside i've tried to get her to come inside and she just doesn't like it her name is pasha she's always sleeping on my porch or hanging around the porch i call her the porch torty a torty is a type of domestic cat it refers to their coat wow this is looking good hopefully she appreciates it i usually don't give cats freshwater fish this is a brackish saltwater fish, so there should be no chance of bacteria, you know, making them sick. Freshwater fish has a lot of bacteria in it. You don't want to eat freshwater fish raw, but this is probably okay for the cat. A while back, I thought she didn't eat fish because I, like an idiot, offered her like a whole bait fish one day and she wouldn't touch it. And then I tried offering her a small piece, and then I realized that she likes it cut up. So we're going to take half this fish, this right here, cut it into smaller pieces, put it out there for Pasha and whoever else wants to share. If Pasha wants to share, she's not always into sharing. Some people might think this is a waste, but I don't because a, a waste would be if I just threw this fish away. Get a good bit of butter melted down into the pan. Here we got a big bag of Trinity celery, peppers, green and red, and onion. Good, a good amount. Put a good amount in there. I have this on a low heat, in between low and medium over there. These are frozen, so what I want to do is just let them cook for a while in the butter with the lid on there while i'm waiting on the onions and peppers and celery to get where i want them we are getting ready for another session got to take a 10 pound fluorocarbon liter off here and replace it with a 20 pound fluorocarbon liter really simple how i do that it's a double uni get the lines together i do the braid first i make a loop with that fluorocarbon between my forefinger and my thumb and then I start wrapping I'm going to do more wraps with the braid than with the fluorocarbon itself here's two wraps and three four five that's four and five we're gonna do a total of six and then we're just going to pull it tight with that fluorocarbon running through the knot. Then we're going to make sure the lines are not twisted, that they're evenly parallel. It's important that they're not twisted. Then we're gonna make a loop with the fluorocarbon over here. And we're going to do one, two, and just three. Three is going to be fine for what this is for. And we're gonna pull that tight. Well, because it's fluorocarbon, cousin to mono, we got it wet. There we go, nice and tight. Before I clip my tag ends, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the two knots down to each other and make sure it's nice and tight. Tag ends clipped. Now, I didn't actually take a, a length off the spool. We're still attached to the spool. So we're gonna do what I usually do, just stretch my arms out. And that's gonna be about five to six feet, thereabouts. That's usually what I do for trout and bass and some other species. Right here we have some golden eye by Dockside. Same people that make the Matrix baits. These are quarter ounce golden eyes. Let's get one out so you see the eye. 
Now that I have my jig tied on, I'm just going to put it in the keeper on the rod. I'm not going to put a bait on it quite yet. <clears throat> but it's likely that I'm going to use one or two. Probably this. This is a tiger bait by them. Or I'm going to use this. This is the same company. This is avocado, which is pretty much something that looks just like watermelon red. However, I'll bring this whole bag of different trout baits. Let's see. Let's see. Looking good. Almost caramelized. Got that nice caramelized smell to it, actually. Time to put the fish in. Cover it back up. Turn the heat up a little bit. Doing more stuff while we're cooking. Got to make sure everything's out of this bag because we're replacing it with this one for the moment. I've been using this for a while, but all the zippers are starting to die. I think the old one was a 40 liter. This is actually a 30 liter. It's a little smaller, but it'll work for the moment. Even though it's smaller, the good thing about this one is it's waterproof. It says it is. Cannot forget what I'm doing though. That is looking good. I'm gonna call this lunch because it is lunch time. Let's get all that butter, and all that onion and everything else out of there. Fish and rice, that's what I wanted for lunch. I've got a mess in here. There's usually a mess in here. Well, I, yeah, you're right, I wanna eat and get back to it. <clears throat> Hot. Mmm. As usual, I could have waited just a little bit for it to cool down, but gotta get at it now. Tasty. Pretty tasty. Mmm. My friend Craig would like this dish because there's very little vegetables in it. You might even think there's too many onions. But it is good. It's a pretty simple meal. Just some fish over rice. Oh, wow. I'm actually starving. <laughs> I'm really hungry. I had not much of a breakfast. Wow. Mmm. I like that. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, liking, subscribing, and I will see you next time.